We don't see that so often anymore. So for two guys like us that understand and appreciate the legacy and the history of this game, I think it's kind of fun. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Take it early in that second round of the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. You'd love to see the biggest jump of a young quarterback's career might be between year one and year two. I and mean, you think about what these young quarterbacks go through entering their rookie year. They have the entire pre-draft process. Then the idea of being drafted and going to a new organization and learning what it means to play quarterback in the NFL. Well, in year two, everything's not new. Everything's not a first experience. It allows them to just take a deep breath, play, develop, rely on what got you here. We see so many quarterbacks in year two really have their breakout campaigns and show, frankly, why they were the starter to begin with in the rookie year. Look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Here's second and three to go. The motion man is Boyd. From the gun, they'll give it. It's Pollard. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Running here, it's Pollard. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. From the gun, it's Levis. He finds DeAndre Hopkins for the catch. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. Look him up on a second down and eight. Out of the shotgun, Levis. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. Play eight of the opening drive coming up, and now they face third down. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself, but they were able to rally to the ball, and I think the officials are going to mark him just short. What a call on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth down. It's the quarterback with the sneak. And he's going to have a Titans first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. Pretty simple here, Mike. Every team, they have this sheet up in the box. It's their own analytics telling them when to go for it, when not to go for it. And in this spot, their metrics say go for it. Sneaks the call, first down. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. A second down throw here for Levis. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. Incomplete. 
a lengthy opening drive. Now comes to this. It is third down. Levis. It is brought in in the end zone. Alvin Ridley. Touchdown, Titans. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans will go up by seven. nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air this one is fielded in the end zone but he decides not to bring it out so they'll take over at the 30 yard line the Dolphins come out on offense and the lefty Tua Tagovailoa he led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage I believe this is season five already from Alabama Greg Tua 26 years old and his time is now I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Here's a third down and four. From the gun, here's Tua. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. And he's going to get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot. But that'll keep this drive rolling. Uh, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. On first and ten, here's Tua. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it, you start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. Fake the handoff, now Tua. That's taken in left side by Smith. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. In motion comes Beckham. Throwing on third down, Tungo Vailoa. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Nothing scarier for a quarterback, Mike, than to see that ball popped up in the air. It, it feels like that ball is in the air for an eternity. And all you hope is that it just harmlessly falls to the ground. And fortunately for the offense, that's exactly what it did. Fielded at the nine. And he'll get a few yards on this return. Up past the 15-yard line. 
The Titans offense going to take over now for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. The best offensive play callers in the NFL, Mike, do a great job tying in their under center run game, like we just saw here, with their under center play action game. And the ability to make those two things look alike, man, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. Now he'll run. One quarter. So from the 36, it is first and 10. On the ground, it's Pollard. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. On second down, Levis. That caught Tony Pollard. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. He'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. That's going to be pretty close. Looks like he's got it, and he does. First down. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance, but I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough, and they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. Opening carry of the game for Tajay Spear. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. The throw is Levis. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Nice grab there by Ridley. And this is a unit that this Tennessee Titans offense has continued to search and build ever since the departure of A.J. Brown a few years back. And now with the signing of Calvin Ridley, a guy who has been a playmaker everywhere he's been, they're starting to put... Now, Mike McDaniel unhappy with the last call. And out comes the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. They run it straight ahead with Pollard. And he brings it down to about the 28-yard line. Play is made on defense by Jordan Brooks. They face second down and seven. Again, it's Pollard. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Pollard with a nice first down run. And the Memphis native returns to Tennessee after an impressive five-year stint with the Cowboys. 
He's coming off two consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, and he should be a huge part of the solution and part of filling the hole left by Derrick Henry. A hit as he threw, and the pass is incomplete. Trying to set up that screen, but the rush got there too quickly. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Throwing on second down. Levis. That is caught back corner of the end zone. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Tennessee. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm, mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Folks, extra point is good. And the Titans move out on top, 14 to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. To return it, here's Raheem Mostert. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They're staring at a two touchdown deficit. 14 0. The score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. A shotgun snap for Tua. He's going to tuck it and go. It's a nice start to the drive, a gain of 10, and a quick first down. Generating explosive plays, whether it's through the air or on the ground, is the goal of every offense, Mike. But when you're able to generate those plays with your quarterback's legs, man, that's an element that makes these offenses hard to defend. In motion, it's Waddle. Now, first down throw for Tua. He's going to look deep for Tyreek. That one broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. In motion comes Beckham. They'll fake the handoff. And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the sack. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over him. Here's Jake Bailey now, as he's on to punt for the second straight drive. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. Tony Pollard heading out with the rest of his Tennessee teammates for their next drive. Their lead sits at 14-0 here in this Second quarter, looking to run away with this one before halftime. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. It was Zach Steeler in on the tackle. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Second and seven. Oh, 
They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to Miami after this. Here's a third down and four. Levis to throw. That's complete. He got it to Hopkins. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So big pick up there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. He'll look Hopkins way again. This is also complete. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. Set to go now on first and ten. Now, Levis. Left side into the hands of Hopkins. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Another catch from there. Numbers starting to stack up in this one. Closing in on 100 yards, and we're still in the first half. Levis to throw on first and 10 to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Tyler Boyd was the intended target for that one, and it'll be second down. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player, and when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. They'll try again here. Second and ten. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. As he throws and it is incomplete just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to not really sure if there was much there anyways we do know it'll be third down they couldn't quite connect there on that short pass mike and i just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field so after back-to-back -back incompletions it is now third and ten that one, take it in, middle of the end zone. Alvin Ridley, touchdown Titans. He's got another one, his second touchdown of the evening. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Folk now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Titans will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They find themselves down three touchdowns here. Needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. 
when it starts bad, it has a funny way of ending up getting worse. And I don't think that could be any more true than it is right now. They're already down by multiple possessions. And after that start to this drive with the sack, they find themselves once again in a massive hole. One final throw before the break. And this one is caught, but the momentum, that'll take him out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Could not get himself turned up field. Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Tungo Vailoa. To the left side, OBJ is there. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Sending it deep for Waddle. And that is caught. Well, he stayed in bounds. A terrific catch. A big time play for the Dolphins. 39 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Still get a first down at the one. First and 10, they go from the 11. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Out of the pistol, here's Tua. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Jalen Waddle, touchdown, Dolphins. Well, after being shut out in the first half, it has to feel good for this offense, Mike, to just get on the board, get something going. But now the question we have to ask is, is there enough time to come all the way back? Yeah, just some belief, right, Greg? Just let's watch these guys on the next few drives. Did that give them a little belief that they can stay in this game? Best way to start with that score. Jason Sanders on for the point after. He's got it. And the Dolphins get back in it. It is 21 to 7. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This taken at the five. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The Titans offense and running back Tony Pollard is going to take over once again. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the top three conversation in that locker room at halftime. they got to find a way to slow him down. Nothing they've done has worked so far. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. The motion man is Boyd. Out of the gun, they give it to Pollard. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. They'll run here with Pollard. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. 
This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking them down for a loss. From the gun, on third down, here's Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a Conquo. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Up the middle, here comes Pollard. Not much there. A yard or two down to the 48. David Long, they're on the stump. Here's a second and nine. Here's Levis to throw. Now a screen. Here's Pollard. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. They'll come up here first and ten. Now Pollard. Uh-oh. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. They'll run the toss to Spears. Wow! And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. Third down, three to go. On the bootleg, it's Levis. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Just a couple plays ago, Mike, it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable. They were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field. And then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses, they started getting sloppy in their execution. Now, what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive? Or do they settle for three? On fourth down, Levis. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. 13 yards and a big exhale as they convert on fourth down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Tony Pollard, touchdown Tennessee. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Now, folks, on for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Titans will extend this third quarter lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Tua. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate. 
accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Off play action, it's Tua. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. A loss of six yards brings up third and 16. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Tua going to throw. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Well, if that was a pickup on first or second down, you'd be thrilled. But here on third and long, just doesn't quite get enough to pick up the first down, and it's going to bring up fourth. Punt team headed out for the Dolphins. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. On the ground, it's Spears to start the drop. And he's fighting to get free. A lot of work there for a gain of three. A second down throw here for Levis. He'll look for Pollard out of the backfield. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Another great throw, and that's been the story as you check out these numbers. I mean, he has done everything this team has asked of him and more. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. The motion man is Boyd. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. From the gun, it's Levis. Open man is Hopkins. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. First down, They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Pollard. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. From the gun, they'll give it. It's Pollard. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Here's Levis. They'll try to hit him with a screen. Give him 13 on that screen play, and a first down. 
How often do we see, Mike, the running back, they get a little too antsy and they go a little too fast on these screen plays. In this case, great job by the back. First, he let his offensive lineman go out. He then follows behind. That's the key to a good screen play. Levis with a give to Spears. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. This throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. And not much there. Down to about the 13. On second down, here's Pollard. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Calvin Ridley was the intended receiver, and it's going to lead to a fourth down. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? So on fourth down, the veteran Nick Folk will try it for Tennessee. This one is good. He knocks it through. And the Titans will extend their lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Braxton Berrios now to bring it back. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and then some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast and right now they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught they were on him quickly and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. He'll get that into the hands of Tyreek Hill. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. A good spot here, second and a yard. Tua to throw again. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. 
I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. And that one just kept getting worse and worse until finally they bring him down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, here's Tua. That is caught left side by Waddle. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. In motion, it's Waddle. Throwing on third down, Tungo Bailoa. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So. It's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. He's got his man. It's Hill. And he's going to have a Dolphins first down as this defense can't come up with the play they need. They surrender a gain of 17 on fourth down. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. Again, it's Tua. Right back to Hill. He's got it again. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill there. And it's going to be third down. Throwing again. It's Tua. That's taken in by Achan. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Really nice play recognition there by the defense. They sensed the quarterback had nowhere to go downfield and that ball was going to be checked down. The moment that ball hit the running back's hands, there was nowhere to go. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And he's going to go down. The pressure once again too much. And that should wrap this one up. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task. And they come through yet again with a huge stop. The Titans offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump and that'll be good for about a half dozen it'll set up second down and the big night continues that last run gives him yardage to put him over 100 for the game they'll come up now for second down and four Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it.